Hello, Svengers. It's me, Svenny McGee. We've had a look at the PSP Go. We've had a look at the PSP Go carrying case. We've had a look at the PSP Go and connecting a PS3 controller. And even a component cable to connect this to your television. And some of you are still saying, hey, you're still not using it the best ways. There's still other good ways you could be doing this. So, you want to see it? Here it is. This is the dock for the PSP Go. All right, my friends, this is it. This is the PSP N340, the dock for the PSP Go. You can see on the underside here, it says Sony. They call it a cradle. And here are some of your inputs. We'll look at those in a second. Plain and simple, you have your PSP Go. And it, the port here is just going to have a placeholder here for the headphone jack. And we're going to connect through that proprietary connection right there. And that's how it's going to sit. Pretty nifty. Now in previous video, we have shown you this here, the component cable. And again, it uses that proprietary Sony connection in that bottom port and connects to the television. However, that's the same port that you use to charge the system. So in that configuration, if you're playing on the television, the system will eventually start to run out of battery. Compound that by running Bluetooth on the system, accessing wirelessly, and even connecting to your PS3 controller with it, again, you're just gonna drain the console. In order to navigate around that, that's where the cradle comes into place. You can connect that video out right here, and then you can use any of the PSP100s. These are the same connectors to your other models of your PSP consoles. And plug it right into the back here, you're gonna provide five volts, just like that. Now, you have maximum efficiency. We have this plugged into a power source to charge the console and keep it operating. And we're going to get that video out to a television. Bingo bango. All right, pardon the handheld here, but we have the dock. We have it plugged into the AC. We have the other portion here plugged in the component in the back of the television. We take the console. We're going to slide it into place. Pop it down. Plugged into the cradle, you can see it's now charging. And we're going to flick the power. We've come to life. And again, down here, if you can see, I'm going to use this. I'm going to activate to switch video. Again, I'm going to get that menu, control it, click yes. We're converting to the television. And success. The console is charging. The console is outputting to the television, and we're using the PS3 controller in order to make these changes here. Let's get that back to a 16 by nine. There we go. And we've set it back to a nine by 16 perspective. We're ready to play. One final thing I wanted to showcase here was a lot of YouTubers, Metal Jesus and others, have gone and made the comparison of this unit here to the Nintendo Switch. And in that respect, they're not terribly wrong. I mean, again, it is a handheld that connects through a cradle or a dock to a television to display on the TV. Now, the one difference is, of course, you don't just slide this up here. You actually tip it forward. And then you see it gives you this little menu here saying off. And that's because on the dock itself, it has this kind of built-in release here where when this is slid down, these two pieces here kind of pop up to eject the console. So there you have it, the Sony PSP Go Cradle Dock. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please consider liking and subscribing as it always helps grow my channel. Till I see you all again soon, I hope you take care and be good to each other. Bye now.